Hey, welcome back to another update of my dividend investing portfolio. So if you're subscribed to the channel, that's awesome. Welcome back. And if you're new to the channel, what I do here is I'm just using Wealth Simple Trade to buy and sell stocks in Canada, all dividend paying stocks. And I'm using this custom Google Sheet to track my investments. Um, links for everything are in the description below. But basically, right now, I'm sitting just under $18,000 in my stock value. And I'm going to spend around $360 today on stocks and just walk you through at least my idea and mindset about what I'm doing with that and uh, kind of tracking my portfolio as we go. Keep in mind, I am not a financial advisor or I'm not a financial professor, professional, not a professor either. Um, and so yeah, uh, don't take this as financial advice. I'm just a dude, a guy on YouTube, whatever, and just doing my own thing. So results may vary and don't just copy what I do because you might lose all your money. Anyways, so I have so far gained 12.7% in my portfolio. So I'm up over $2,000 now. That's amazing. In nine months, that's just like fantastic. That's kind of more than I was ever hoping for. Um, 228 of that total has been in dividends and the rest has been in the stock price increasing since they were pretty much at lows last year. Um, my average yield of the portfolio right now today is sitting at 4% and we'll see if we can bump that up today because I think I'm going to chase some relatively high paying dividends today. And that means that my annual passive income from the dividends, this is calculated by the forward annual dividend, right now sitting at around $720 per year or about $60 per month, pure passive income that I'm using to reinvest into this account and just build up that momentum, get the compounding interest effect. So let's take a look here at my sectors. Um, yeah, real estate and utilities are definitely the biggest ones. And I'm going to be adding more to real estate today. Um, it's just, again, this is the best recovery stocks at the moment. They're kind of lagging behind everything else. And I think I'll also be looking at one financial stock too. That's a pretty good buy. Um, looking here at the holdings, you can just get an idea if you want to pause roughly of what my account is like. Otherwise, we can just jump straight into the portfolio where we have all of the same information. Um, if you're using this spreadsheet, which I know quite a few of you are, first of all, thank you. That's awesome. I'm really glad other people are using this template. Um, but right now, basically, the Google Sheets is having a hard time connecting the to Yahoo Finance, which is the source of the dividend information here for annual dividend and dividend yield and also the ex-dividend date and so if you're experiencing issues with that i've got some links down in the description of how you can basically just copy and paste really quickly in some values here and override the formulas and if you want when you're done you can just reset them and drag them up but you see here it's still reading as zero so we're not going to do that just now Anyways, moving on. Um, what I'm looking at today for my best buys, actually, I was looking in the spark lines. So I have this tab here, spark line, where I look at things one at a time, but I also have extra spark lines here. And right now I've got it set to the last three years for just everything in the portfolio. And I was kind of just scanning through here, looking at like what's going on, what's the general trend of everything. And I'm still seeing for a lot of the REITs that we're looking here like there's just a general upward trend recently and we're looking to probably I don't know hopefully get back to the pre uh, drop levels so I've been looking here at RealCan and also another one that was on my radar was HR.UN they are still quite slow in their recovery. And then smart centers, um, they're pretty much catching up, but I think I like to, inst I don't like always just putting into like one or two stocks. I do like to spread it around a little bit. So I'll be looking into getting a little bit of smart centers as well today. And then way further down, we have Manulife Financial. Let's see if I can find it. Here we go. Um, we've got a little bit of a dip going on and I bought a couple of shares earlier this week and I'm going to buy a couple more while we're in here. So let's jump into Wealth Simple Trade and go log these transactions. So I'm trading in my tax-free savings account. We can see here quickly, get a slightly different more, uh, slightly different information here. We're up, there's no change. Oh, nice, we're up $50 today, that's cool. Um, in the last week, you can get a slightly more zoomed out view. We're up 1% or about $100, up $352 in the last month. 10% in the last three months. And because I've been using this account for less than a year, these two are going to be the same. So up 13% all time. 
And just a reminder, if you are in Canada and you would like to buy and sell stocks, World Simple Trade is a super awesome option. It's a commission-free trading app and really nice user face to be using. So there's a link in the description below as well if you would like to try it out. And you can get $10 just for signing up and like trading your first 100. So that's an immediate 10% gain on your first investment, which is just a really nice way to get started. Um, but anyways, let's jump in and start buying stocks. So we want to buy a real can first. Uh, that's this guy here. I have $360 available, so I'm going to try to split it up relatively evenly between the stocks that I want today. Um, so that means I'm going to be looking at four shares of RioCan for about $85. So we'll place that at a market buy. That should be good enough. And then next, we're going to be looking at hr.un. With these guys, I'm going to be looking they're a bit cheaper, so I'm going to be picking up seven and that's going to put us around $111. So we'll also place that one with a market buy. And, and then also for smart centers, which is sru.un. These guys are a little bit more expensive. And so I'll pick up just three of these and also put that through as a market buy. Okie dokie. And then lastly, just pop in here and pick up Manulife Financial. So we've got about enough to pick up two of these guys right now. So we'll just go ahead and do that. Drop that in at a market buy as well and place the order for two shares of Manulife Financial. And it looks like we actually have enough for one more. I think um, the Wealth Simple holds 5% from the purchases as you, as you wait. And I had just waited a second there. Um, and, but anyways, I'm just going to leave this in the account until probably Monday, and then I'll come back and I'll just lump that into the buys on Monday. But back in the Google Sheet, let's just go and log these transactions. So I'm just going to check the notification from Wealth Simple Trade and see what I actually paid because with a market buy, it differs a little bit. And once that's all in, the only thing I'm just going to do now is jump back into the summary tab and take a look to see how our dividend income has been affected. So before we were sitting at an average yield of 4% and we've managed to bump it up to 4.01%. Not, not a much of a change, but I like to keep it around four. So if I can get it up a little bit, it kind of buys me some more wiggle room on the next trades. But we're looking here at an annual dividend income now of $736. And so before it was 719. So that's an increase of like $17 per year. So it I don't know, maybe that sounds small, um, but for me, that's a you know relatively big increase. We've gone from about $60, it was $59.98 before, and now we're up to $61.35 per month. So that's great. That's just passive income tax-free that I'm using right now to reinvest into this account, and then eventually will draw later in life probably um, and use it to pay for some of my expenses uh, when I'm, yeah, when, when it's a little bit more or not, when I'm in my retirement or something like that. So guys, that's all I got for you today. Um, if you like these videos, make sure you drop a thumbs up on the video. And always, please leave a comment and uh, let me know what you think. So thanks, guys. I will see you in the next one.